let's find a fraction that lies between one half and one third. First, let's visualize these fractions on a number line to better understand their relationship. We can see that one half is greater than one third on our number line. One way to find a number between them is to take their average. To add these fractions, we need a common denominator. Let's convert both fractions to sixths. One half equals three sixths and one third equals two sixths. Now we can add the fractions inside the parentheses. Three sixths plus two sixths equals five sixths. Finally, we multiply by one half. Five sixths times one half equals five twelfths. Let's verify our answer by plotting five twelfths on our number line and comparing the decimal values. Therefore, we can confirm that five twelfths is indeed between one half and one third. We can write this as one half is greater than five twelfths, which is greater than one third. This method of taking the average of two fractions is just one way to find a number between them. There are actually infinitely many fractions between any two different fractions.